Let's have a go at tying a monkey's fist. To tie this knot, first of all, I want to put a stopper knot on the end of my rope, and I'll do that just by tying an overhand knot. Just pulling it tight and work it as close to the end of the rope as you can. And then we just want to lay that across our palm with the knot facing down here. And we're going to take three and a half wraps around our palm three and then a half one two three and this is our half wrap and I've just tucked that between my index finger and my middle finger and if I rotate it to the knuckle side I want to tuck this down through those loops and just pull it all the way through now I want to start wrapping in the opposite direction. So that's going to come back through my index finger and my middle finger. So it should look like that. And I'm going to gently take this whole bundle off my hand. Careful not to interfere with the wraps. And I'm going to take three more wraps going this way, working from left to right. That's two, and that's three. Just count the wraps, one, two, three. And now I want to rotate this bundle 90 degrees so the stopper knot faces you. So there you are. Stopper knot should be on the bottom left now. And I want to take the end of my rope and I want to tuck it up through this bottom loop here but I don't want it to come out that bottom loop I want it to come out this top loop here so it's got to run diagonally through the bundle through the bottom one but out the top there diagonally going through I just want to pull that all the way through and now I want to take three wraps around these three strands not the whole bundle, just these three strands and I'm going to work from right to left in this case so I'm going to dive back down through that loop and then up again through the top loop here and that'll be our first wrap and just be careful not to cross strands up when you're working through here because it's going to be very difficult to uncross them later on when you're trying to tighten the whole knot up so this is our second wrap see that will make a cross strand I want to take that over to the other side then this is our final wrap and come up through the top here and that is basically our monkey's fist done in its loose form. Now we want to rotate this bundle until the stop on knot is at the top. Just like that. And you'll see there's our original four wraps. One, two, three, four. Or the three and a half. And now you'll see where that half wrap disappears because I'm going to push that knot through and tuck it into the center of the bundle there so that's where that half wrap disappeared to and now I just want to pull or start pulling this whole thing tight so just notice where the knot went and then follow that strand along and then just start pulling it tight follow it along and pull and just keep following this whole thing along make sure that none of the strands cross as you gently manipulate this knot tight so after we've done our first three you'll notice that it won't exit out this bottom thing because it dives through the knot and sometimes you can't really locate it very easily so just give it a gentle tug and you'll see it's coming out here so I want to pull it from that side 
opposite side of the knot. Now we can do the same thing. Tighten up the next three loops. And this, this time we're working from left to right to tighten these up. And then again this is going to dive through the center of the knot. So just give it a gentle pull and find where it exits, which is over here. And then pull that through, make sure it's nice and neat. And then we can continue along, tightening the last three loops up. Always making sure that none of the strands cross. Almost there. Let's tighten this one up. That's the last one. There you are, you should have your finished monkey's fist.